Okay, so we've got all the basic setup um, done. If you haven't done that already, I'll put a link in the description to the first video. Uh, and also, I'll put a little uh, screen card thing in the top right or the top left of this video so you can go back and do that if you haven't already done that. So, um, what we're going to do now is basically install Beta Flight and get it all set up with uh, the Raspberry Pi. So, first thing we'll do is we'll open up a terminal. Just make this a bit bigger. I'll put um, the links in the description to bits and bobs that you're going to need. Um, and I'll also put a link to this uh, text file that's got all the commands in so you can copy and paste them in rather than having to hand type them all, which will take a while. So first thing we're going to do is this. It's just a case of copying and pasting these first few commands. Okay, this next command you don't have to do this. This just basically confirms that we've installed Node.js. You should get a version number there which tells us that we have successfully installed that. So next thing we want to do is open up um, Chromium web browser. Um, we need to find uh, the latest ARM v7 binaries. Uh, I'm using the Raspberry Pi 3B for this. So if you follow this, or go to this website here, you can see that version 0.27.6 is the latest one. And this is the one, the basically what we've got to download. It's not this SDK one, it's this one here. So click on that, it should start downloading. And once we've done that, we need to download the latest version of Beta Fight which is at this link depending on what firmware version you've got on your flight controller it will depend on what version of the configurator you want if you want the latest one then you go to the releases and and click the the most recent one and um, for this we need the source code zip so i'm going to click on that and it'll start downloading as well So once they're both done, we'll close the browser. And I'm just going to go to the downloads folder. We'll type in DIR to confirm that they're there. And you can see we've got the flight configurator 10.2.0 and the Linux arm there as well. Now, depending on which version you've just downloaded for the beta flight configurator will depend what you've got here, obviously we've got 10.2.0 so I'm going to type on zip beta flight configurator 10.2.0 if you've got 11.00 then type that 11.00 there and then press enter and then we're going to go into that folder or that directory which is this one Again, it'll be different depending on what version you've downloaded. And we're going to type npm install. Type npm start. Okay, 
Yeah, so that's done. We go to the root directory again. Right, type in this, which will take us into the downloads. And then we need the downloads folder. We need to put, type the following. To go back to that folder. And then we need this. Okay, after that we are going to <coughs> back to the uh, desktop folder, which is like the root desktop folder, and then we want to type the following. Right, so before we do this, we're going to go into the downloads folder. So click the double folders up here and go into downloads, and then we're going to cut that folder and we're going to go to pi. And then we're going to paste it there. And while we're doing that, we can delete, uh, go back to downloads. We can delete um, this. In fact, we can delete both. We'll move them to the waste basket. And then we need to copy and paste the following exactly. Now if you've got a different configurator version, you're going to need to change this number and this number. And what this is going to do is going to create a desktop shortcut folder using the icon located there and the executable file that's located here. So once you've, you've typed, typed this in exactly how it is now, um, you need to press Control X and then Y, Enter. And there you go, you can see it's created the desktop icon there. I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, it crashed. So I'll turn, close the terminal, start again. Uh, so we're we'll back to where we were, which was here. And we're going to do the UDEV rules again, try it again. There we go, done. Strange. So the next command is that. And then we're done. So I should be able to start this up and it runs fine. That's all good. So we'll plug a flight controller in. I'm going to use the HDLRC F405. F404, sorry. Plug that into the USB. And we should see this. So just to confirm it's working, we'll go to the firmware flasher. We'll choose the Omnibus F4. And let's choose the latest version. So full chip erase, load firmware online. And we'll click flash and it should, there we go. Stuck it in DFU mode. That's it done. Uh, before I connect, one thing I will say, for some reason with Beta Flight, it doesn't like it when the accelerometer's uh, enabled. I think it 
too much processing for the pie or something and I'm not sure so first thing I do is when you hit connect is go straight to the configuration tab and then when it's loaded just go down and turn your accelerometers and stuff off and then reboot and it should work fine See everything's working, so we can go to PID tuning. It is a bit slower than the PC, obviously, but it's handy to have out in the field, and you can use the VNC viewer up here, which is what I'm using on my PC now, so that you can view the uh, Raspberry Pi. You can basically use your phone or an iPad as the screen for it, like a touch screen. You can change all your settings in here. That's all good. So yeah, that's uh, Beast Flight up and running. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe. If anyone asks you how you did it, please share this video so it generates views and maybe more subscribers and it just helps us out a bit. Um, next videos I'll do, I'll, I'm going to go through a, a guide or video guide on how to install the BL Heli configurator as well as the new butterfly as well. Um, so then videos will be coming out soon so be sure to subscribe and you'll get a notification when they're uh, online. Thanks for watching.